one, two, ready, go. Hello and welcome to GBXML Viewer Introduction Video. GBXML Viewer is part of Ladybug Tools Spider Project. We hope you enjoy this video and we are looking forward to seeing you at our Ladybug Tools Forum. Happy model fixing! Here we are at Main Spider website. As you can see, we have a user-friendly model that allows us easy interaction for both viewing as well as interrogating model and finding, finally fixing some issues. Here in the pop-up window, we can find the latest announcements, links to tutorial videos, as well as latest release information. On the left hand side, we have a main control tab, which includes view settings, reports to allow us to find out more details about models, as well as different model checks. Heads up display allows us to find out more detail about surfaces. In case of shade, no space is attached to surface. When we select external surface, we should see one space, and for all internal surfaces, we expect to have two different spaces. Clicking any odd grey boxes, we can isolate any item in 3D view. Now we can click all to see the whole model again. Let's move to the settings tab. Here we can control the displayed colors as well as transparency of our model. Here is the grid and the ground. You can also explode the model, it might be easier to select and see surfaces. Remember from this view we can still interact with our model. If we want to modify our surface from ceiling to floor, we just need to select surface and change the type. This is the way to fix Revit GBXMLs that ought very often come with similar issues. Now we can go to Report tab. Here we can find out more about the model. We can see details about the location. We can also isolate each space and zoom one by one. You will find very useful surfaces. This is the place to isolate one by one and see if everything is as expected. You can also get better interrogation with Revit. We can display model by CAD object IDs, which are Revit family type and name. Edit duplicate surfaces and edit duplicate adjacent will help you easier, will help you to find easier issues in the model and fix them. Let's go to edit duplicate adjacent. We can see eight issues. Let's show them all and zoom in. When I select the first one, I can see there is a second surface in the same place. Each one has one space reference twice. To solve it, we need to check the first space. Delete and connect to surface link to space them. Now when we click Edit Duplicate Adjacent, we can see that only 7 warnings are left. This way we can fix them all and save changes as fixed GBXML files. We hope you enjoyed and appreciated all work we did to provide this tool for everyone. Thank you very much on behalf of the Spider Team. See you next time.